Hey there, dear friends! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into an important topic that affects many of us, swollen ankles and feet. The discomfort they bring can be quite challenging, impacting our daily lives. That's why we've compiled a comprehensive list of 10 superior remedies and lifestyle changes to provide relief. But before we dive in, do us a favor, like this video, ring that bell for future notifications, and make sure you're subscribed to our channel for more natural health information. A quick reminder though, this video is for educational purposes only. If you have any medical concerns, it's always a good idea to speak to your doctor. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter. Swollen ankles and feet, also known as edema, can genuinely cramp your style. Whether it's from sitting too long, being pregnant, or even an injury, the discomfort is real. Did you know that gravity can play a significant role in this? When we stand or sit for extended periods, fluids pool in our lower extremities, making it harder for our circulatory system to pump them back up. That's why taking breaks is essential, especially if you're stuck behind a desk all day. Number 1. Stay Hydrated Alright, let's jump into our first remedy, staying hydrated. It's not just about quenching your thirst, it's a powerful tool in reducing swelling. Dehydration thickens your blood, leading to fluid retention in your lower extremities. Proper hydration is crucial. Studies show that increasing water intake significantly reduces swelling. But it's not just about water, herbal tea and coconut water are great options. Just steer clear of diuretics like alcohol and caffeine, as they can dehydrate you. The benefits extend beyond reducing swelling. Exercise is known to lower the risk of heart disease, elevate mood, and contribute to overall well-being. Aim for at least 8 glasses of water a day. And remember, staying hydrated isn't just good for reducing swelling, it's crucial for overall health. Now, let's delve deeper into the importance of hydration. Water is not just a basic need. It's a fundamental building block of our health. Beyond reducing swelling, staying hydrated is a cornerstone for various bodily functions. From maintaining healthy skin to bolstering the immune system, the benefits are countless. So, make it a priority to keep yourself well hydrated. Consider setting a reminder to sip water throughout the day to prevent dehydration and promote optimal health. Number 2. Reduce Salt Intake Moving on to our second remedy, reduce salt intake. It's not just about the shaker on your table, it's about the hidden sodium in processed foods. Too much salt can lead to water retention, causing bloating and swelling. The recommended daily sodium intake is about 2,300 milligrams, but the average American consumes much more. Cutting down on salt can not only reduce edema, but also lower the risk of various health issues, like high blood pressure and heart disease. So, start reading those food labels, experiment with the new spices, and watch your salt intake for healthier, happier feet. Let's further explore the impact of salt on our health. Excessive salt intake isn't just about swollen ankles, it's a hidden contributor to a range of health problems. The American Heart Association recommends no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium daily, equivalent to approximately one teaspoon of salt. Surprisingly, the average American far exceeds this limit, consuming about 3,400 milligrams daily. This excessive salt intake can contribute to high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. By reducing sodium intake, not only can you alleviate edema, but you can also pave the way for a healthier heart and overall well-being. If you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our next video. Number 3. Get Enough Magnesium Our third remedy involves getting enough magnesium. Magnesium deficiency can contribute to fluid retention and swelling. Magnesium plays an essential role in regulating fluid balance in the body. Studies show that increasing magnesium intake can help reduce edema. One study found that magnesium supplementation decreased edema in pregnant women, while another found it improved lymphedema symptoms in breast cancer survivors. Foods like spinach, almonds, and dark chocolate are rich in magnesium. You can also try Epsom salt baths, known for their muscle-relaxing properties. 
However, always consult your doctor before starting any new supplement or treatment. Let's dive deeper into the significance of magnesium in our diets. Magnesium isn't just a remedy for swollen ankles, it's a vital mineral crucial for various bodily functions. From muscle function to nerve transmission, magnesium plays a pivotal role. Research indicates that increasing magnesium intake not only reduces edema but can also have broader health implications. Incorporating magnesium-rich foods into your diet, like spinach and almonds, is a proactive step towards not just alleviating swelling but promoting overall health. And let's not forget the relaxing benefits of Epsom salt baths, a delightful way to boost magnesium levels. Number 4. Elevate Your Legs now, let's talk about elevating your legs. It's not just about finding a comfortable position, it's a simple and effective way to reduce swelling. By raising your legs above your head, you encourage excess fluid to flow back towards the heart, promoting blood flow and reducing swelling. Dr. Sanjeev Lakhanpal recommends a slight bend in the knees to allow proper blood circulation. Remember, it's a safe method, but if you have any medical conditions, consult a healthcare professional. The practice of elevating your legs goes beyond a mere remedy for swollen ankles. It's a therapeutic technique with profound benefits. By positioning your legs above your head, you create a natural pathway for excess fluid to return to the heart, effectively reducing swelling. Dr. Sanjeev Lackenball emphasizes the importance of a slight bend in the knees during this process, allowing for optimal blood circulation. Incorporating this practice into your routine not only alleviates immediate discomfort, but can also contribute to long-term vascular health. Consider making it a part of your daily relaxation routine. Number 5. Wear compression socks or stockings Coming in at number 5, wear compression socks or stockings. These aren't just ordinary socks, they are proven to reduce fluid retention in the legs, ankles, and feet. By applying pressure, they promote circulation and prevent fluid buildup. Whether you have a medical condition or spend long hours sitting or standing, compression socks can make a significant difference. Just make sure to consult a medical professional to choose the right compression level for your needs. Let's unpack the benefits of compression socks. These aren't your typical everyday socks. They are engineered to provide therapeutic benefits. By applying targeted pressure, Compression socks actively promote circulation, preventing the accumulation of excess fluid in the lower extremities. Research highlights their effectiveness in various scenarios. For instance, a study on airline passengers showed a significant reduction in leg swelling during long-haul flights. Whether you have a medical condition or a job that involves prolonged sitting or standing, incorporating compression socks into your routine can be a game-changer for reducing swelling and promoting overall vascular health. Number 6. Massage Your Legs Next up is a remedy that's not just effective but also relaxing. Massage your legs. Beyond the immediate comfort it provides, a good leg massage activates the lymphatic system, responsible for removing excess fluid from the body. It's like giving your circulatory system a gentle nudge, helping to reduce edema. Of course, it's crucial to ensure that the massage is gentle and doesn't cause any discomfort. If you have underlying conditions, especially diabetes, it's advisable to seek professional advice to avoid any complications. Let's explore the therapeutic benefits of leg massage. Beyond the surface-level comfort, a well-executed leg massage has profound effects on the body. The gentle pressure applied during a massage activates the lymphatic system, a crucial player in removing excess fluid. Think of it as a mini-workout for your circulatory system, promoting optimal fluid balance and reducing edema. However, it's essential to approach leg massage with caution, especially for individuals with diabetes, as their vascular health requires extra care. Research supports the effectiveness of massage in reducing edema in specific populations, making it not just a luxury but a therapeutic practice for overall well-being. Number 7. Use Essential Oils Moving on to another aromatic remedy, Essential Oils. 
Incorporating essential oils into your foot massage routine can enhance the benefits of reducing swelling and discomfort. Peppermint, lavender, and eucalyptus oils, known for their anti-inflammatory properties, can improve circulation and alleviate swelling. Whether applied topically or added to a warm foot bath, essential oils offer a soothing option. Let's dive deeper into the world of essential oils and their therapeutic potential. Beyond their pleasant fragrances, essential oils like peppermint, lavender, and eucalyptus boast anti-inflammatory properties that can enhance the effectiveness of foot massages in reducing swelling. The application can be twofold, directly on the skin after mixing with a carrier oil or as part of a warm foot bath. Research supports their effectiveness. A study on patients with rheumatoid arthritis found that a massage with essential oils significantly reduced pain, stiffness, and swelling in the joints. However, a word of caution, purity and quality matter. Before incorporating essential oils into your routine, consult with a medical professional to ensure they align with your health needs and conditions. Number 8. Exercise now, let's talk about a remedy that benefits not just your feet, but your entire body, exercise. It's a simple yet effective way to reduce swelling. When you exercise, your muscles contract, helping pump blood and fluids back toward the heart, reducing excess fluid buildup in the lower extremities. Even a brisk walk can make a significant difference. Low-impact exercises like yoga, cycling, and swimming are also excellent choices. Just ensure you wear supportive and comfortable shoes to minimize swelling. Research shows that exercise not only reduces swelling, but also comes with a plethora of other health benefits. Let's break down the role of exercise in combating swollen ankles and feet. Beyond being a general recommendation for a healthy lifestyle, exercise plays a specific role in reducing fluid retention. The simple act of moving your body, whether through a brisk walk, yoga, cycling, or swimming, engages your muscles, acting as a natural pump to propel fluids back toward the heart. The benefits extend beyond reducing swelling. Exercise is known to lower the risk of heart disease, elevate mood, and contribute to overall well-being. So lace up those shoes, embrace physical activity, and not only will your feet thank you, but your entire body will benefit from a healthier, more active lifestyle. Number 9. Herbal Remedies Coming in at number 9 are nature's gifts, herbal remedies. Many herbs contain compounds with anti-inflammatory properties that can improve circulation and reduce swelling. From the well-known aloe vera to the powerful ginger and turmeric, incorporating these into your routine can offer natural relief. Compresses containing chamomile and witch hazel have also proven effective in reducing edema when applied externally. Dandelion and horse chestnut, with their diuretic and anti-inflammatory properties, can further aid in reducing fluid retention. The benefits extend beyond reducing swelling. Exercise is known to lower the risk of heart disease, elevate mood, and contribute to overall well-being. Let's take a closer look at the wonders of herbal remedies in the context of reducing swelling. Nature has provided us with a treasure trove of plants that carry anti-inflammatory properties promoting improved circulation and reduced swelling. Aloe vera, celebrated for its various benefits, finds a spot in this lineup. Ginger and turmeric, with their potent anti-inflammatory compounds, have shown effectiveness in reducing knee swelling and improving function. External applications, such as compresses with chamomile and witch hazel, offer targeted relief. Even dandelion, tribulus terrestris, and horse chestnut, with their diuretic and anti-inflammatory properties, contribute to the arsenal against fluid retention. The benefits extend beyond reducing swelling. While embracing these herbal remedies, it's crucial to approach them with mindfulness, consulting with a healthcare professional to ensure compatibility with your health profile and ongoing medications. Number 10. Acupuncture Last but certainly not least, our tenth remedy is an ancient practice that has stood the test of time, acupuncture. This traditional Chinese medicine technique involves inserting thin needles into specific points on the body to balance energy flow and promote healing. Studies have shown acupuncture to be an effective remedy for reducing swelling and edema in the feet and ankles. 
Whether in pregnant women or those with chronic venous insufficiency, acupuncture's ability to stimulate the lymphatic system and improve circulation makes it a safe and natural choice. As always, consult with a qualified practitioner before undergoing treatment. Let's unravel the mystique surrounding acupuncture, a practice rooted in ancient Chinese medicine. Beyond its holistic approach to healing, acupuncture has emerged as a potent remedy for reducing swelling and edema. Research has validated its effectiveness in diverse populations, from pregnant women experiencing lower extremity edema to individuals dealing with chronic venous insufficiency. The intricate placement of thin needles stimulates the lymphatic system and enhances circulation, contributing to the reduction of fluid retention. It's not just about treating symptoms. Acupuncture seeks to balance the body's energy flow, fostering overall well-being. As with any holistic practice, it's crucial to seek the expertise of a qualified practitioner to ensure a safe and personalized experience. So there you have it. 10 Superior Remedies and Lifestyles for Swollen Ankles and Feet By incorporating these remedies and lifestyles into your routine, you can reduce swelling and discomfort and promote overall health and well-being. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and share this knowledge with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such health insights. Stay healthy, stay happy!